Hello there, it's just me, your old buddy Grizzly Jim. I'm just in a workshop, twisting up a few strings, you know, normal, normal stuff, uh, trying to cope with the heat. I mean, it is so warm at the moment in the UK. Um, we're floating around 40 degrees, which for the UK is, is hot. Uh, I know other parts of the world uh, get hotter, but here in the UK, we, we're not built for the heat and we are melting. Um, so send ice cream. But saying that, uh, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Um, and that's just, I just wanted to talk to you about the topic of practice. Now, I did a, a post just on my social media just lately um, about the importance of practice. And I said, if you don't practice, you will never be any better. And that's kind of true. Uh, well, it's definitely true. 100% true. If you do not practice, you'll never get any better. Uh, and uh, a couple of people said, well, yeah, well, that's obvious. And it is to most people. But some people it's not. I mean, I've worked with a lot of a lot of archers over the years. Which sorry, this chair is really squeaky. Um, I've worked with a lot of archers over the years. And some of them, uh, as lovely people as they are, they they get frustrated with themselves. They get they get stuck they get caught on a plateau and they're not improving any and then i say well how often do you shoot and i said oh well you know uh, archery nights tuesday night uh, for an hour and i said well that's great that you can get out for an hour on a tuesday night every week and that's fantastic but you only shooting for an hour once a week are not going to see the improvements that somebody shooting every day will um so it's definitely a, a thing of of the more effort you put in the more you get back but that that is completely obvious and that you know that, that's not what the, the the video is about but the video is about practice and what constitutes as practice um and me personally i've probably never practiced a day in my life uh i have shot a lot admittedly over the past couple of years not as much as i would like to uh, but it's getting back on I'm, I'm shooting more and more uh, each week um, but I've never practiced a day in my life I just shoot I shoot because I love archery I, I shoot because I love shooting I, I love being with my friends I love being on my own you know the, the process of shooting a bow is what I love and if you are truly enjoying it, it it's it doesn't feel like practice to me practice feels like hard work I've been involved in many sports uh, in my life and you go to practice whether whether, whether that's me playing um baseball that's whether we, whether i'm playing ice hockey you go to practice and you put the work in you sweat you really do put the work in but archery's never been like that for me i go to archery on a you know thursday night is our normal like formal archery night where we get together with the guys and we go shooting and we sit in the woods and, and you know do our thing that's never ever felt like practice even the it's probably why i screwed up so badly at the world championships I, I didn't practice on the run up to the world championships i was just shooting that's what i did i, I that, that's not how it works in my mind i i don't practice i just shoot but saying that whether you're practicing or whether you're not but whether you are shooting and you're looking to improve the practice needs to be quality the shooting needs to be quality you can't go out and shoot terribly and i don't mean score wise i mean just from a fundamental kind of standpoint from a, a form a basic level of form if you go out there and you shoot 100 arrows but you're not doing it to the the most efficient way for you you might as well not shoot any uh, it's better to, to go out and shoot 10 arrows, really good quality arrows, than it is to shoot 100 bad ones. And again, when I say bad, I don't mean bad where they're going. I just mean bad from a form point of view. Um, and, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to sort of hate lambasting anyone for, for errors in their form. As I've said before, there's no one way to do archery. It's it's very personal. It's, it's very personal to everybody. But there is there is a polar right and a polar wrong and you know quality over quantity every time i think for me personally anyway this is just my experience i'm sharing with you take it or leave it um 
but quality over quantity when it comes to, to archery practice. And there's so many sayings out there like practice makes perfect. I, I don't believe that. Um, practice doesn't make perfect. I don't think perfection exists uh, within archery. Um, you can get close to it, but it's the the constant striving for perfection that keeps us going, especially with traditional archery. We don't have the bells and whistles and the, the things to, to, to really reach perfection. Perfection's always just out of reach. And I think that's what that keeps us drive, the, the drive to, 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 for perfection is, I think if we ever got perfection, it wouldn't be fun anymore. Um, I don't know. But yeah, there's, there's tons of sayings like practice makes perfect, practice makes permanent. Um, and it, it, you know, I don't, I don't like practice makes perfect. Um, practice makes permanent, I like. Um, but again, it's got to be good practice. You can't have crap practice because, I mean, that will happen. If you do crap practice, you'll build in a permanency to your archery that's crap. If you have good practice, you will build in permanency into your archery that's good. Um, the one I like is practice makes um, improvements. And that's all we're looking to do is improve constantly. Every, every opportunity to shoot, should be an opportunity to better yourself and learn from something, whether that's a mistake or, or if something went right. Well, hey, well, I tried this today, it worked well, things are going good, I'm gonna try that again. Um, and build upon that and, and build towards, uh, you know, better archery for you, as long as it's good quality practice, um, well thought out practice. If you just stand up there and just shoot arrow after arrow after arrow, um, not really putting any thought into it. If you enjoyed yourself, Great, um, I'm, I'm all for it. If you had fun doing that, you were safe, and you didn't hurt yourself, great. But if you're not improving, that's on you. you you've got to, I don't want to sound like one of those guys that mm, you have to shoot like this. That's not me, that's never me. I'm never gonna be like that. But if you want to improve, the practice has to be of quality. The archery has to be of quality. If you don't want to improve and you're just enjoying what you're doing, that's also absolutely fine. Um, at the end of the day, if you're enjoying what you're doing, that's all that matters. Uh, I've said it before, as long as you're safe and you, you know, you've got a smile on your face, that's all that matters. Um, but it all comes down to what you want to get out of archery at the end of the day. If you want to win tournaments, yeah, you've got to put the effort in, you've got to practice, you've got to focus, you've got to make sure things are moving in the right direction, you've got to, you've got to push yourself. If you just want to shoot for the love of it, do whatever you want, do whatever you want, just enjoy yourself. If you're looking at it from a hunting perspective, now arguably you have to be switched on and tuned in more than anything um, if you're a bow hunter. You, you you need to be because you, you you're taking a life you need to make sure you're not messing around you need to make sure that shot counts you need to make sure it's perfect uh, or as close to perfect as we can get but you know when, when you when you're talking about life and death you you don't want to mess around you want to be you want to be switched on you want to be the best archer you can be at that particular moment but archery is such a wide scope and there's so many different facets to it there's so many different avenues to explore and again, this is why I love archery. This is this is this is why I've kind of more or less dedicated my life to the pursuit of archery. I know I've had a bit of a break, but you can't stay away for too long. But uh, yeah, it's it's. I know it's a a long <laughs> way of saying, um, you know, if you don't practice, you won't be any good. So you need to put the effort in. But it all depends on on your end goal. Um, but quality practice is is the way forward. Um, like I say, there's so much information out there, free information that people have put out there from the, you know, just from a, a, a place of passion. People are passionate about something, so they share what they're passionate about. They share their experiences. Um, and like I say, not everything's going to be relevant to you. Some will be, some won't be. Um, but it's out there. Um, the information's out there. If you're at a club, there are people that are willing to share their information with you. Um, but just good quality, safe practice. Um, but yeah, just have a chat with yourself. Think about what you want to do. Do I want to become a better archer? Do I want to start winning medals? Do I want to start 
winning trophies, then yeah, you've got to put the uh, put the effort in and, and start practicing and 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 have a a regimented practice. Like, oh, am I going to um, what am I going to do today? Am I going to work on my follow through? Am I going to work on position? You know, there's a million things to work on. Um, you know, am I going to be a little bit more focused in my practice? Um, but yeah, like I say, ten really good controlled arrows are way better than a hundred and fifty just garbage arrows and that's you know that's i think i don't think anyone can disagree with that but yeah that's that's a little ramble for this week just talking about practice and i, I make these videos because things uh i don't just pull these topics out of my ass i, I try uh i try and talk about what i am experiencing at the moment and i you know, I'm more than anyone. I'm I'm getting back in the game just as much as anyone else. I'm I'm working on things. I'm improving myself. I mean, I've been shooting back shooting now for oh, three four weeks. I suck. I really really suck. I'm nowhere near the archer that I used to be. I'll get well. I'll get there. Maybe I won't. But I'll I'll, I'll be moving in that direction. I will improve myself. I will try and become a better archer. But yeah, it, it's it's. You know, I've got to put the effort in. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm practicing. It feels like I'm just shooting. But that's just me. Some people need to be a little bit more focused. But I'm going through it at the moment. So that's why I'm talking about it now. That's why it's you know, a, a topic for a video. Um, yeah, the, these videos sort of in between actually going out and shooting are... Well, they're great for appeasing the, the mystery algorithm, they're, they're, but they're, they also serve as, as a soundboard for me. I can share my thoughts and process the things that are going through my mind and share them with you guys. And hopefully you find some of them interesting and, and you know, not a chubby, sweaty guy in a workshop talking to a camera. Um, but anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, if you're in the UK, I hope you stay cool. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, you guys, uh, take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye. <laughs>